just talk down below. Well, we're going to meet the, I'll open the gate. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll be here before that time, sir. Okay. About 4 30. So, right? Can I make a pop for television? <laughs> <laughs> a delightful time. Really wonderful. I'm sorry I misidentified you. Give me a shake of that. Oh, I get a. I get a Are you really? Oh, fantastic. Now, you heard me mention two cartoonists tonight. Did you catch their names? I caught their names, but I forgot them. Ding Darling. The, his name was, uh, what's Ding Darling? Ding was, uh, Ding was his nickname. J.N. Yeah, J. Norwood Darling. J. Norwood Darling. Known as Ding Darling. There's a refuge named after him in Sanibel, Florida. And then, um, uh, Clifford Berry. And uh, uh, both of those cartoonists, it was, it was a great age of cartoons. If you start looking at Ding Darling's cartoons or Clifford Berryman's cartoons, it'll open up a whole, oh, and of course, Thomas Nast. Have you heard of him? He, he wrote the cartoon of Santa Claus. He was the image of Santa Claus on, but he also wrote cartoons that exposed Tammany Hall, the, the uh, corrupt demographic regime in New York City and New York State. And uh, he was really uh, 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 responsible for uh, the overthrow of the Tammany uh, Democratic machine through his cartoons. Cartoons are powerful things. I'm delighted to have your card, and uh, I look forward to visiting your blog. That's really quite wonderful. I appreciate that greatly. I don't understand. Uh, I understand ladies wearing pretty shoes, but I couldn't wear them the, the, the way they look. Good luck to you. Miss Howard. Uh, yes. Mrs. Howard, a delight to see you. Thanks for coming to see me. I expect to uh, see your cartoons in the papers someday. So if they're still making papers, maybe I'll see them on, on, on the blog. No, but that's an opportunity. Uh, uh, again, maybe we'll see your cartoons. Uh, what do you like to draw cartoons about? Uh, things in general? Or Mostly I draw, about it's stuff about my cats. Oh, interesting. All right. Fuzzy's the... Female one that yeah. fluffy tail and I'm going spider. No, you're right. Spider's the one who's more of a Okay, right. Crazy cat. And now, uh, are you in the cartoons or is the no, uh, a fictitious animal. owner? Just the animals. Do they communicate with each other? And uh... Mostly in funny movements. Right. What was the prank that always got most in trouble in? Well, I would think that that, uh, that snowball, because a man could, and by calling it a snowball, it was a misnomer. It was really an ice ball. Imagine getting hit on the head with a 30 pound ball of ice. Right. Uh, but uh, of course, the boys generally weren't, uh, they weren't cruel or mischievous boys in the sense of wanting to uh, or cause destruction for any reason. It was just that uh, they were playful. Not even that. They're right on the paintings. The spitballs on the paintings. Of the raccoon, well, I told them uh, the, the, our masked bandit friend. These are really wonderful uh, pictures. Do you do photography as well? Or just I do some of the pictures. <laughs> oh, good. And did I share a card with you? If I may, I think it's my last one. It's uh, my favorite quotation Do what you can with what you have where you are. It's from the book Through the Brazilian Wilderness. Uh, Candace Milan wrote a wonderful book called The River of Doubt. You might like to uh, read that if you like to read. You may